so hello everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome back once again to another session of pib 247 in today's session guys we are going to talk about pib news uh, from 20th and 21st september 2022 and today's session guys is very very important because we have some very very important news all right so let's begin with the session but before we begin uh if you want to have the pdf of this session do you want it of course you want it right if you want it then you can download it from the telegram channel and the link is provided in the description all right so let's talk about the very first question which says india's presidency of asia pacific institute of broadcasting development has been extended by one year ek saal ke liye india ka membership badha diya gaya hai the question is very direct where are the headquarters of aibd which is asia pacific institute of broadcasting development so we are discussing it uh, about this because of course question mein already hame news given hai that the membership the presidency of india not membership the presidency of india has been extended by one year right presidency of asia pacific institute of broadcasting development has been extended by one more year now talking about this organization aibd so remember it was launched in the year 1977 with its secretariat or headquarters located at malaysia where are the headquarters where are the secretariat of this organization it is in malaysia right and it works under the aegis of unesco which means it is one of the arms of unesco right and unesco of course it is headquartered in paris <clears throat> now what type of organization is this now what is the type of organization remember it is a regional organization first of all and it is an intergovernmental organization servicing the member countries of unsk now what is this unsk it is united nation economic and social commission for asia and the pacific now it provides service to these regional countries in which area in the area of electronic media development right in the area of electronic media development so in short it is a regional intergovernmental organization which provides electronic media development services to the member countries of unsk all right and currently it has 26 countries as full-time members and kyoki india ke paas iski presidency hai so this year 47th annual gathering or 20th general conference and other meetings took place in new delhi right Kape hua hai india mein new delhi so that is all and now let's come back to the question so where are the headquarters so these are in malaysia and malaysia is the country with which we have recently con uh, we have recently concluded an exercise which is known as what udar shakti right question number two pe a jate hai. name the app launched by ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship headed by dharmendra pradhan and he is also the minister of education to cater to the skilling learning assessing and employment needs of the leather industry so for providing benefits to the people who are in the leather, leather industry an app has been launched by ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship so you just have to name that app remember the name of the app is scale and scale stands for skill certification assessment for leather employees skill certification assessment for leather employees is the full form of scale app and remember it has been developed by leather skill sector council leather skill sector council now what is the objective of this app so remember it will be a one-stop solution for all the needs of the people who are working in the leather industry now what type of needs are these these are skilling learning assessment employment needs right all these needs will be catered by this particular app for those people who are working in the le leather industry right and it allows people from all the age groups who are interested in leather craft to take online lessons which have been developed by leather sector skill council all right and therefore the correct answer is option b scale scale is the name of the app which has been launched by ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship headed by mr dharmendra pradha question number three the union cabinet has approved modifications in the program for development of semiconductors and display manufacturing <coughs> ecosystem under scheme for setting up of compound semiconductors slash silicon photonics slash sensor fab the earlier fiscal support of 30 percent of capital expenditure has been increased to how much percent of capital expenditure now so there are there is only one modification in fact there is only one modification in this particular program for semiconductors for development of semiconductors in the country 
and for this the total outlay is 76000 crore i hope you all know this 76000 crore is the total outlay now the union cabinet has approved modifications in the uh, program for development of semiconductor and display fat what are the modifications these three are the modification out of these these two are actually not the modification because pehle bhi yahi tha theek hai so fiscal support of 50% of project cost under scheme for setting up of semiconductor fabs earlier also it was 50% so there is no change in it fiscal support of 50% of project cost under scheme for setting up of display fabs it was also earlier 30% there is no change in it while fiscal support of 50% of capital expenditure under scheme for setting up of compound semiconductors silicon photonics and sensor fab but here यहां पे जो है मॉडिफिकेशन आया है अर्लियर इट वाज 30 परसेंट बट नाउ इट हैज बीन इंक्रीज टू हाउ मच 50 परसेंट ऑफ द कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर एंड दैट इज द क्वेश्चन इससे ज्यादा डिटेल में जाने की जरूरत नहीं है देर आर नो अदर मॉडिफिकेशन सो एक्चुअली देर इज ओनली वन मॉडिफिकेशन इन दिस थर्ड कॉम्पोनेंट विच इज स्कीम फॉर सेटिंग अप ऑफ कंपाउंड सेमी कंडक्टर सिलिकॉन फोटोनिक्स एक्सेट्रा जिसमें पहले थर्टी ऑफ द कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर Uh, was provided by the government of india but now it has been increased to 50% of the capital expenditure all right and that is why the correct answer to this question is 50% 50% is the correct answer option number d question number 4 pe aa jate there is one more approval by union cabinet so union cabinet has approved the pli scheme second tranche of national program on high efficiency solar pv modules what is the total outlay of the scheme so if you can recall this thing we have discussed this in the union budget session that government of india will provide 19500 crores for second tranche of pli scheme for developing high efficiency solar pv modules photovoltaic right so now that announcement has been given approval by the union cabinet and that is why the correct answer will be 19500 crore but let's talk more about this news so the objective of this scheme as it is very clear from the name of the scheme itself to build an ecosystem for manufacturing of high efficiency solar pv modules in india and to reduce the dependency of imports of renewable energy on the entire world right total outlay as i told you it is 19500 crores and pli the production linked incentive will be disbursed for 5 years after the commissioning of solar pv modules सोलर पीवी मॉड्यूल जब कमीशन हो जाएगा उसके पांच साल तक प्रोडक्शन लिंक इंसेंटिव दिया जाएगा टू द मैन्युफैक्चर राइट नाउ व्हाट आर द एक्सपेक्टेड आउटकम्स व्हाट गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेक्ट्स फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर इनिशिएटिव सो इट इज एस्टिमेटेड दैट अबाउट 65,000 मेगावाट 65,000 मेगावाट पर एनम मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ फुल्ली एंड पार्शियली इंटीग्रेटेड सोलर पीवी मॉड्यूल्स वुड बी एस्टैब्लिश्ड नंबर 1 The scheme will bring direct investment of around ninety-four thousand crores. How much? Ninety-four thousand crore का investment ये scheme लेके आएगी. Direct employment of about one lakh ninety-five thousand people and indirect employment also of about seven lakh eighty thousand person. And finally, import substitution of approximately one point three seven lakh crores. Right? So, बहुत सारी expectations हैं इस scheme से. Let's see कि वो पूरी हो पाएंगी या नहीं. so the correct answer is what option b 19500 crores is the correct answer moving ahead to question number 5 which initiative of ministry of health and family welfare headed by mansukh mandavia and he is also the minister of chemical and fertilizer right has won 2022 united nation inter agency task force and who special program on primary health care award right so this award ek इनिशिएटिव है मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर का अंडर नेशनल हेल्थ मिशन दिस इनिशिएटिव इज अंडर नेशनल हेल्थ मिशन एंड दिस इनिशिएटिव अंडर नेशनल हेल्थ मिशन हैज गॉट दिस यूनाइटेड नेशन अवार्ड सो यू जस्ट हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द नेम ऑफ दैट इनिशिएटिव इट इज इंडिया हाइपर कंट्रोल इनिशिएटिव आई इंडिया हाइपर कंट्रोल इनिशिएटिव इज द नेम ऑफ द इनिशिएटिव विच हैज गॉट दिस यूनाइटेड नेशन अवार्ड राइट एंड वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द अवार्ड 2022 United Nation Inter Agency Task Force Award and one more award has been given which is WHO Special Program on Primary Health Care right 
Now talking about this initiative, so as the name suggests, it is for controlling hypertension among the citizens of India. This initiative was launched in the year 2017, in the year 2017 under National Health Mission, right? And it is a joint collaboration of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Indian Council of Medical Research, ICMR, state governments and WHO India. These four and even more than that organizations are there which are together implementing this particular initiative or program, right? As I told you, it was launched in the year 2017 and currently it is being implemented in 130 districts across 23 states of India, right? And under the initiative, more than th uh, 34 lakh people with hypertension are taking treatment in government health facilities, including Aishman Bharat, primary health care centers, right? So that is all about this news and now let's come back to the question. The correct answer is what? IHCI which is India Hypertension Control Initiative. Moving ahead to question number 6. Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare headed by Narendra Singh Tomar and Ministry of Food Processing Industry headed by Pashupati Paras uh, have launched convergence modules between DASH scheme of Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare and Pradhan Mantri Micro Food Processing Upgradation Scheme and Pradhan Mantri Kisan Sampada Yojana of the Ministry of Food Processing Industry. You have to fill this gap that with which scheme of the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, a convergence module has been launched to converge it with Pradhan Mantri Micro Food Processing Enterprise Scheme and Pradhan Mantri Kisan Sampada Yojana of Ministry of Food Processing Industry. Right? This is not going to be new. Basically, now, these three or four schemes, which are three schemes, will work together. That is it, right? So, the correct answer is Agriculture Infrastructure Fund. Option B, Agriculture Infrastructure Fund of the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmer Welfare is the correct answer. And of course, the total corpus of AIF is rupees how much? One lakh crores, right? And it was launched in the year 2020. Question number seven: With which banks, Defence Account Department under Ministry of Defence? has signed an MOU to onboard them as service centers under the system for pension administration Raksha, which in short is Sparsh initiative. Now, what is this Sparsh by the way? So under this, the defense personnel are getting pension without any third party uh, influence. Kisi third party influence ke bina, jo defense personnel ki pension hai, wo directly unke account mein ja rahi hai, right? And the two banks which have been uh, onboarded to provide services under this Sparsh initiative are Bank of Baroda and HDFC Bank. Right, option A, Bank of Baroda and HDFC Bank is the correct answer. And Bank of Baroda, I hope you all know this, we have read this last session, mein, that it was, uh, it was at rank number 1 in the East 4.0 index. And HDFC CEO is Mr. Shashidhar Jagdishan. Right? Question number 7. Minister of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, Narendra Singh Tomar, has addressed the Leeds 2022 conference. In his address, he said that India, apart from being self-sufficient in food production, has the capacity to meet the food requirements of a large part of the world. Now, this line is just waste your time, so that you don't have time to waste time in the exam. So, that's why you have so many long questions. So, generally, what do you do? You have to learn the first line, and then you have to learn the third line. It will save your time during the examination. Which of the following industry bodies has organized this conference? So remember, it has been organized by FICCI. FICCI is the organization which has organized Leeds 2022 conference. And who is the president of FICCI, by the way? Mr. Sanjeev Mehta. Sanjeev Mehta is the president of FICCI. Question number 9. What is the target of fish production by 2024-25 under Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana? Very easy question. And at the same time, very, very important. Right. So, what is the target of fish production under this uh, scheme by the year 2425? This scheme I have discussed in very much detail, guys. You can go to the playlist. You can search by the name Anu Jindal Government Schemes. Anu Jindal Government Schemes. There you will get a playlist in which I have discussed this scheme in very much detail. So, you can have the details from there. Right. The target of fish production is 220 lakh tons. Option C is the correct answer. And the last question for today, the PM Cares Fund was launched by the government to support children who have lost both 
their parents or guardians due to COVID-19. How many children are being provided support under the fund? So first of all, remember, uh, as the question suggests that this uh, PM care fund was launched to provide support to those children who have lost both their parents. Now, how this support will be provided? So there will be a corpus of 10 lakh in the name of the child. And on uh, turning the age of 23 years, the child will get this corpus, right? Rupees 10 lakh. And before that, starting from 80, 18 years to 23 years, the child will get rupees 4,000 per month as the stipend. All right. And here the total number of children who are getting support is 4345. Option A is the correct answer. And remember, there is a uh, there is a committee of PM Cares Fund, which is headed by, of course, the Prime Minister of India. So that is it. That's it for today's session. I hope all the questions are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Take care and God bless.